right. Well, unfortunately, um, I'm going to let Austin Burke uh, start us out this week on the news, as I always do. Austin, I know this this one we had to get out of the way right quick, and I know yeah. this one hits home for you as yes. well. So share it with you, don't mind. Uh, yeah. So our first topic is called "Rest in Peace, John Schnepp, a genuine hero." Uh, it's with immense sadness that we confirm that John Schnepp has passed away peacefully on Thursday, July 19th as the host of Collider Heroes and frequent panelist on Collider Movie Talk and other Collider shows, videos, and panels. Schnepp was a vital and irreplaceable part of the Collider family and us at PopX and literally everyone else were all deeply upset by this tragic news. Schnepp's passion for art was infectious and his knowledge, especially when it came to comic books, was legendary. He mm -hmm. was a fan first and foremost. And the excitement with which he discussed film, comics, stories, and storytellers was palpable. It was impossible to watch John and not love him. That's who he was, not just a host or a filmmaker, but as a human being, he was kind, generous, gifted, hilarious, and full of verve. And Joe, you hit the nail on the head, man. It's really hit home with me. I have been watching this man, uh, this incredible sweaty uh, a, a term <laughs> that he was one of the first to ever coin for almost six years i mean i yeah. he has graced my television computer screen yeah once a week for six years so i i grew attached to him didn't even know him now i have connections at collider and i know people from there and and hearing the stories even behind the scenes not of him on camera he is literally one of the most generous nicest all around good guys, he will walk up to someone if they're standing by themselves and just start a conversation. And he has so much knowledge, wow. you know, and even the points, and I, and I said this in my, uh, I believe my tweet or my Stardust one, I, I, I disagreed with him on some things, especially when it came to, you know, concepts and ideas of movie and, and even comic books. But everything he said, I respected because the man is very firm in his opinions. And I just love the way he goes about what he is talking about with so much passion, Joe. The guy just, you could tell he loves superhero movies and comic books and just all around. Even like we talk about, you, you pull up a comic book and we appreciate the artwork and what goes in behind the scenes. John Schnepp, that's, that's how he was. And he yeah. wasn't just appreciating the art. He took part in the art. Well, right? you know, too, a, his, his vast knowledge of just comic book lore oh in general – yeah. I would. The only other person I would put in his category would be Kevin Smith. Absolutely. I'm serious because, and, I mean, yeah. he knew his stuff, dude. And Kevin Smith was actually part of his documentary, The Death of Superman Lives, that the two yeah. worked together. And they've worked together numerous times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he, he's a great filmmaker. He's a great comic book. He wrote story. He did everything, man. He did yep. TV shows. He direct. I mean, the guy just did it all. So there's a, there's a void in the yeah. movie talk industry right now and everyone is feeling it and joe i i know you liked his work as well so i want to hear i did well i mean thoughts. even following collider as many years as i have a lot of the things that i have picked up on and little like backstories into the creation of some of the characters we know and love today for example uh i think he shared some stories about jack kirby uh, very all in Jack Kirby's works. And I'm just like, I made some things you normally wouldn't know if you're just watching mm -hmm. a YouTube video or you're seeing just a simple, reading a simple article about the history of, you know, Jack King Kirby. Yeah. But he, he, he shared like personal accounts, personal details. And um, his passion is what won me over. Oh, it was infectious. You know, because, I mean, that was just who he was. And so I think it's definitely, uh, the internet's going to fill it the movie world's going to fill it. The comic book industry is going to fill it. Yeah. And, uh, it. And irreplaceable. What else can I say? I mean, irreplaceable. So The coolest thing that I saw this weekend was Henry Cavill tweeting mm -hmm. about John Schnett. Because as big of a Superman fan as he was, somebody that high on the totem pole to recognize talent. And, and he said in the tweet, even though you know he may not have loved me in certain movies, well, I, he still respected the man because everybody knows that's who he is so uh, yep. it, it sucked to celebrate comic-con without him but he will be missed for sure yeah very 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 true 